The plot of The Great Gatsby is absolutely fascinating. In the introduction, we meet Nick Carraway. Nick has just moved to New York City from the Midwest. He's there to make his fortune in the bond trade. Now, during the rising action of the story, Nick attends the very first of Gatsby's parties. He's amazed at all of the wealth and the flash. Gatsby befriends Nick, and the two grow really <laughs> close. Tom Buchanan, who's married to Nick's cousin, Daisy Buchanan, actually introduces Nick to his mistress. Her name's Myrtle Wilson. And Tom thinks nothing of how this looks. Now, the rumors about Gatsby, about his past, they're starting to spread. And Nick sees the validity of these rumors when he meets Gatsby's business partner, Wolfsheim. Now, Wolfsheim seems to be involved in some illegal behavior. Now, Daisy and Tom, they attend one of Gatsby's parties, and things don't go too well. Daisy and Gatsby appear to be in love, and it seems that Gatsby's plan is working. He has come up with this amazingly intricate plot to win Daisy's heart by showing off the flash and the wealth that he has garnered over his time. Tom discovers Daisy and Gatsby's affair, and the tensions explode. Now, for the climax of the story, Gatsby and Tom battle over Daisy. But Gatsby's dream can't trump Daisy's reality. And in the end, she chooses Tom. As the action falls, Myrtle is killed by Gatsby's car, <laughs> which is driven by Daisy. And Tom takes the opportunity and sets up Gatsby by telling George Wilson, Myrtle's husband, that it was Gatsby who was responsible for Myrtle's death. George snaps. He goes to Gatsby's house and he kills him. And then he turns and ends his own life. Finally, for the resolution, Nick is shocked that almost no one attends Gatsby's funeral. Even though week in and week out, hundreds of people would attend his parties. Nick is disgusted with life in New York and all that's happened. He finally returns home to the Midwest.